Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, March 8th, 2019. Four degrees at about 8.48 a.m. Oh boy, and I'm tired. <laughs> Sitting here with my co-star Sammy enjoying, enjoying the sunlight. I did not sleep well at all. I think it's the worst night's sleep I've had and I don't know how long. I'm going to be dozed from about 1 till 4, if that. And Mikey came up and got me out of bed a little while ago. We're going to have 3 minutes and 8 seconds more daylight than we did yesterday. Looking for a high of 22 degrees. Look at, there's my Maxi. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Yeah, I had a pretty crazy dream the brief time I was out. My mother and her sister and Uncle Tom were going camping and they had a big motor home and they were pulling a fifth wheel and then a pop-up camper behind that. And I saw them on 7th Street by the Dairy Queen. They were turning on to Chisholm. And my sister Kathy came running up behind them. And that's when Mikey... Uh... No, that isn't when Mikey came up and woke me. I don't know when that was. But it was pretty bizarre. Yeah, so we got some city chickens on the wire out there. We did. I took some food out there. It looks like they took off. Here comes Maxie. Here comes Maxie. They all went out this morning and they're all back in. And I really don't know what I'm going to do today. I really don't. Yesterday, got out and did a few errands. Got my glasses adjusted at Skiba Vision. Went to Gordon Foods and got some coffee beans. I got some international blend... Uh, Mosaic coffee. And we got a pot of that brewing right now. So I'm looking forward to that. If nothing else, just for something warm to drink. <laughs> spring is on the way. It's actually supposed to get in the 30s tomorrow. But spring up here <clears throat> really isn't much to write home about anyway either, you know. But it's better than sub-zero temperatures or zero temperatures and this bitter, bitter, bitter cold. I just want the snow to be gone so I can get out biking, you know, riding something beside my fat bike. and I'll deal with the cold and the wind. It's just I'm tired of the snow. We've, we've had more than our share of it this winter. And the cats want to be outside, and I want to be outside. And I, you know, I do, that, I do the best I can to deal with what's out there and embrace the winter we have, because that's the way it is up here. But I want warm weather. I really do. I want to be out and be comfortable. So that's where we're at for right now. We're going to pause. We're back, and I just had a laugh. And I guess the best way I can sum things up right now for the way I'm at is I'm having a tough time being me this morning. Oh, any other any creatures coming to feed yet? Nothing out there. Beautiful, clear sky. The sunlight is very warm. I got to tell you something about yesterday. Sammy, Sammy is such an affectual, affectionate little soul. And I was lying watching a movie, and he came and jumped up on Audie's bed with me and b buried himself underneath the covers and got in between my torso and arms and put his chin on my, my shoulder right here and one paw over here. So he's laying there underneath the covers, you know, just burning up a storm with his chin on my arm and hanging on to me. And that was nice. That was so sweet of him. Look at Mikey over there. Mikey, what are you doing? Look at Mikey getting a drinky. 
Oh yeah, Mikey's getting a drink. I don't know where Max and Els and Sam are. Oh, look at Sammy's getting one of his drinks too. We showed this yesterday how he dips his paw in the water and then licks the water off his paw. And here comes Mikey. Here comes Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Mikey's been pretty affectionate lately, too. We had some good cuddles yesterday, didn't we, mister? Yeah, we did, and that's what we're going to do again right now. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Yeah, look at that, Mikey. Oh, Mikey. Yeah, there's even less going on today on the Mike show than usual. And I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot of anything done today, but... That's where we're at right at this moment. We're going to push that plunger down and have our first cup of coffee. Look at Sammy's coming back. Mikey's here. Sammy's here. We're pushing the plunger down on the coffee. Pouring our first cup. This is a light roast. We've been drinking dark roast. I didn't get bad coffee like I'd been threatening about, but we will be having a bad coffee experience pretty soon the cheapest grounds we can find the stuff that's like three dollars for a can <laughs> look at tammy oh yeah a good cup of coffee is one of life's simple pleasures a bad cup is better than none at all there's my lady hey elsie can you say hello good morning honey i love you i love you i love you she was cuddling with us last night too watching we were watching Columbo, old Columbo episodes. We also watched a great video about a guy that, uh, he just does crazy stuff. I, I discovered him, he made a, a rocket-powered bicycle, and he's, he's out there past the edge, man. He's wild. He's definitely marching to his own drum. His U YouTube channel is Colin Furs. <coughs> and he makes all these jet-powered powered everythings, scooters. And he really is a good engineer. I mean, the the watching him using his machine shop to make the parts and things that he needs and how he how he does everything and puts everything together, it's fascinating. He is very intelligent. But he's crazy. <laughs> right up my alley. And another video I watched was about walking away, you know, from life suckers and people that got you trained to uh, behave in a certain way. And, you know, the ones that you only see when everything's on their terms and they're getting you to do what they want you to do and never won't do anything with you. And, you know, it's something I, I started doing a long time ago. And you live your own life then and you're not dependent on them. And that was a pretty good one. But, yeah. Anyway, we're going to pause. Eight, eight minutes into this and haven't said nothing. Slowly dusting the cobwebs out of my skull out of my gray matter. And I remembered one other thing yesterday when I was out doing errands. I learned that uh, my cousin Clarence passed away. I didn't notice it in the obituaries when I was reading the news in the morning. But his brother Joe just passed away in early February. Joe was 92. Clarence was only 84. And when I saw him at the funeral, I knew that he you know, he's been going down, I knew that, I, from my cousin, what she told me, Sue, and, but I, you know, he didn't look like he was going to die soon, and so, God bless him, and welcome back his spirit, and bless, bless Sue and her brother, Tim, and all his friends and family and relatives, Walt's the only one left. Well, Maxie's come to join Michael and I, and Michael's nice and comfy and enjoying the sunlight. We're starting to do our readings. Oh, come on, Sam. Come on, honey. Come on, Els. Look at Tammy over there. Samuel, I love you. Maxie, I love you. Els, I love you. Michael, I love you. Oh, grandfather, son, sure feels good. No sign of any wildlife out there yet. And the coffee's tasting pretty good. Well, there's Sammy now. Come here, Sam. Come on, honey. You come and cuddle? Oh, you're a good boy. You're a good little man. Yeah, and there's Mikey again. Ah, oh, that's all we got this morning. Peace and blessings. Have a great day.